Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my favorites of 2019. So today's January 2nd, 2020, but I'm just going to be going over some of my favorites from last year. That's all for the intro. Let's get into the video, into all the favorites, and I'm really excited to share with you guys all of my favorites from 2019. First, we're going to start off with makeup, since I would say it's the biggest section. Starting off with primer, I don't think that there's a product for each step, but I'm just going to start off with primer since it's like the first thing you put on your face. My favorite primers are both from um, touch and soul one of them is the no pore blum primer smooth and pore covering one this one over here and then the no pore blum prime essence this one's like more liquidy these two are my favorites i really like them both and i've been using these the entire year and i'm going to continue to use well not the entire year i've been using them since i got them in boxycharm which i'm not sure the exact month and i'm going to keep using them throughout 2020 because they're both really really good then for foundations there's three but i would say like these two go together the la girl pro coverage ones the normal dewy one and then the matte one both of these are so good i use the shade fair in this one and then in this shade medium beige which i would say sometimes like depending on how tan i am this one can be a little bit dark for me i've been loving both of these throughout the whole entire year i got this one first i think in 2018 so maybe i would like have to get a new one soon and then i got this one in 2019 i think and i've been using both of them a lot and i would say this one's probably my favorite out of the three the ColourPop no filter foundation i use the shade light 50 it's a pretty decent price i got it on sale when it was half off i don't remember what sale they were doing but i really recommend getting this especially when it's on sale which ColourPop has a lot of sales so this is a really good one as well concealer you guys probably already know this but the ColourPop no filter concealer i've used this in like most of my makeup videos towards the beginning when i made my channel and i've been loving it i use the shade light 18 and then powders i don't know if wet and wild is cruelty free anymore so if they're not then i won't be repurchasing it is still a really good powder though and if they are cruelty free still then i will be repurchasing it it's the wet and wild photo focus pressed powder it says vegan and it says cruelty free but i don't know if they are anymore i use the shade warm light and it's getting pretty like down there because it used to be like a curve like that well not that high but it was it was like a curve now it's like pretty flat so i've been using this a lot this year as well as the ColourPop no filter sheer pressed powder and light this one may be my favorite this one it looks like and it's really pretty and like it makes your skin look so smooth and i've been loving this one as well for blush you also might know this but i've been loving the Too faced love flush blushes this one is actually discontinued i probably got it like two years ago it's how deep is your love that's what it looks like it's a little pink so i guess a lot of people weren't purchasing and that's why they discontinued it but love hangover i think is like my favorite one this one is still available and they also have a few other shades but this is what this one looks like it's more peachy a little less pink than the other one but they're both super super pretty and and I've been loving both of these this year. I have been loving the Colorete Blush Trio from Alamar Cosmetics. Number one, the packaging is gorgeous. Like, it's so pretty. Um, And the shades. This is the medium one. Medium tan. I got this in BoxyCharm. But it's so pretty. And I've been loving this. I've been using it this whole year since I got it. And I also love it's cruelty free. So that's really good. Mascaras. My favorite ones this year are the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And the It Superhero Mascara. I got this in a BoxyCharm. And this I got at Ulta. $4.99. So really good price uh, my all-time favorite mascaras are the turt lights camera lashes and the essence lash princess but this one has also been really really good this year that it's superhero then for eyeshadow palettes this one is more of a 2018 favorite but i also use it a lot during 2019 and it's the ColourPop yes please palette it's really dirty the packaging is like that white one that kind of gets dirty really easily i really really like it this was our first palette that are kind of like this one yeah i've been using this a lot during 2018 and 19 and then this is more of like a this year favorite although i did get it in 2018 the alamar cosmetics reina de caribe volume 1 palette this palette is so pretty the shades are gorgeous they're super pigmented and i also love the packaging it's like very unique it's like a book kind of for like lip products i would say i've been loving these dominique cosmetics lemonade lip glosses i got this one in a box charm and then i bought this in boxy pop-up i think it was like six dollars and the first one i got was strawberry lemonade which is this pink shade and then after i bought peach tea but these two they're so pretty i personally love glosses they're like my favorite type of lip product and these two have been amazing and then i've also loved the iconic london one i got this in like well i technically i got it in november we were supposed to get it in october but they didn't ship it with that box so they shipped it like a month later but i've been using it the past two months like crazy i've been using it almost every day switching between this the pink lemonade glosses and then i have a few other glosses this one has been probably like 
my favorite in the shade love struck super pretty it doesn't plump too much so like those Too Faced lip injection ones are crazy this is the last I would say like makeup product it's not even really makeup it's lip balms I have been loving the sun balm lip balm I have a banana one right here and then I have a coconut one and I also had a banana cream one that I already finished this is my favorite lip balm because they are vegan so they don't use beeswax which majority of lip balms do cruelty free vegan and it has no beeswax they use different types of waxes they both have SPF 30 which is really good especially when you're out in the sun actually that's not it for the makeup now setting spray cover effects illuminating setting spray I think I got this in 2018 but I've been loving this as like in conjunction with my primer because as a setting spray it's way too shimmery and glittery but as a primer in conjunction with like a more moisturizing primer it makes your foundation look really really good and just like dewy and then I've also been loving the Milani make it last setting spray it's like halfway done I really like this one I know the ingredients aren't the best it does have like alcohol as a second ingredient so not the best but occasionally I will wear this when I really want to keep my makeup on and the last makeup product is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette I got this probably also 2018 but I've been using it so much this year this is like an essential palette I feel like this is a palette if you just have this you're set like you don't even need any other palettes next I'm just gonna do like an extras category because I don't even know what category this is in we're gonna start off with the Toms of Maine deodorant I've been loving this one I've been using this since 2017 I'm pretty sure it's aluminum free it's one of the few that are cruelty free because I know a lot of big deodorant companies are not cruelty free it smells really natural which I prefer like a more natural scent it's not like that like fake type of smell where it's like very like perfume fragrancy oh it literally says natural fragrance it's very natural and from the same brand is the Tom's of Maine fluoride free natural anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste I have been loving this one it's cruelty free they don't use fluoride, which is really good. It's the perfect cruelty-free toothpaste. So if you guys are vegan or you only buy cruelty-free products, I would recommend this brand. They have so many amazing things, deodorant, toothpaste. I don't know. They have so many amazing products that are cruelty-free. Next, I got this in BoxyCharm. It's the Green Clean Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy Beauty. It was made like made exclusively for BoxyCharm, but I've been using this a lot. I don't think I'll repurchase it just because, you know, it's not like essential, but I have been using this a lot as you can see. It was like full to like over here. When I have like a heavy face of makeup, this works really well. And since we're talking about shower products, I'm gonna talk about this Avo Botanica Hawaiian Shampoo Drink It Up Coconut Milk. I have been loving this so much. It's crazy. I This is like probably one of the best I've ever used. It says 100% vegetarian ingredients, which I went through them and I'm assuming that they're all vegan. So I think it is a vegan product. It is cruelty free. And this is a really big size. I think both of these together were maybe $16 or something like that which I don't think is terrible it's 32 ounces it's my fate Oy. next I don't even know what category this would go in but it's my letterboard I got this out of Marshalls I've been loving it there's nothing on it right now but I'm thinking maybe it'll go somewhere back here maybe like over there I feel like that looks cute and I'll put some words on it also yes I'm redecorating my room which I'm super excited for a video should be up somewhere in January everything's almost done and I'm super excited I'm gonna go through everything with you guys. So stay tuned for that room transformation sometime this month. But anyways, I have been loving this letterboard. Next thing I have been literally, oh, I love this so much. It's the Daily Concepts Dry Brush. I got this in a boxy pop-up probably like two months ago or three months ago. And I've been loving it. I've been using it a lot. It makes your skin feel so soft and it, it, it increases circulation and it like takes off your dead skin cells. So it makes your skin feel so soft. I think I paid like six dollars for it, but it's really high quality and I have been loving this. Next, this is the hairbrush I use. It's from the brand iBeauty. I first bought this in 2017 at a TJ Maxx. Super, super good and it's like really cool. It's like, I don't know. And like, it kind of goes with the curvature of your head, I guess. It doesn't really rip out any hair, which I like because during... 2017 so now I have been testing on a few other hairbrushes, but this one's the one I always go back to I repurchased Well, I bought that one in TJ Maxx and then it just I had to get a new one it broke I got the same color, but they have a bunch of different colors So if you guys want to check this out, it's from the brand iBeauty and yeah, this is my favorite I might have to get a new one soon because these bristles are starting to fall off I have also been obsessed with this huge bottle. It's from the brand Mana. It's really good I got this at Marshall's. It was $12.99 and then I also got one from Costco. I haven't even opened it yet because I'm that type of person like I don't want to wash it, you know, because it's still 
in the package and then you have to wash it before you use it and I really don't want to do that but you know what I'm gonna use it soon I'm gonna use it sometime this month but this one's really good it's a 42 ounce I think and then the new one I bought is a 64 ounce my mom bought this for me probably like six months ago or something and I've been using it every single day this next thing is like a clothing item and it's this Sherpa hoodie from pink and I've been using this so much I bought this on Black Friday so really it hasn't been that long but I have been using this a lot and I use it today I wore it today but I really like it it's really soft if I ever get too cold this is what I will wear I really like the color they have a few other ones but this one's like my favorite shade that they had so I got it for 25 on Black Friday the next thing are shoes these are really messed up these are really dirty they're the Adidas Stan Smith I have the green ones they have different colors as well but I really like these and soon I'm gonna have to get new ones because these are pretty rough but I, I love them I use them almost every day like every time I go out these are the shoes that I'll probably wear next thing are items from Pura Vida or Pura Vida I don't know I say Pura Vida but like anyways I've been loving their bracelets this year I've been wearing them a lot since probably even like last year but I have been really liking them I have a bunch of different bracelets it's kind of a mess I really need to fix it this is a new one that I, I just got and I'm really excited to wear it. This one goes with my shirt, but it's an anklet. But like, if it was a bracelet, I would wear it. I'm gonna put this one on right now. So I've been wearing those since even last year. But towards the beginning of this year, I started using their rings. I was wearing one of them, and I think I left it in a bag over there. But I have three of their rings that I got on Black Friday. I got this one that's like a little sun. I have this little daisy. And then I have not like the traditional wave that they have but it's one that has like waves all around and it's really really pretty also i've been loving for my hair my mom gave me this it's from like a fat fit fun box but it's like the coil hair ties oh no it's tangled it comes with the clear ones and then these like pink ones and i have been really liking these as well and then earrings let me see if i can show you guys because it's kind of on this bowl right here because i've been organizing my room so i haven't been able to like settle in and get them where they're supposed to be i've been loving these earrings and comes in a set with these lightning bolts this cross and a star so i've been using these all year i got these at target all three of these obviously in a set with both of them is six dollars which is a really good price okay and then the last product that i've been loving in 2019 is of course bath and body works candles these two are my favorites probably i have two more i have peppermint brownie and then a hot cocoa one but these two have been my favorite i think this one is my all-time favorite this one's blueberry sugar this one's so good this one's so good i need a i need a light like burn one back here but this one i would say is my favorite it's maple cinnamon pancakes this was it's literally so good like my friend came over the other day and she could not stop smelling these but these are some of my favorites i also love the peppermint brownie and the hot cocoa one those are like my all-time favorite candles and now i'm super happy because bath and body works is now cruelty free which is really really good that is all oh wait actually some of my favorite equipment for filming have been my studio lights i use the brand i say hepson but that's not what it's called it's like hp usn but these have been my favorite studio lights it comes with two of them and then my tripod i use one from the brand dog siang i think that's how you say it and the camera i used to film i've been loving it too i think the quality is really good that's basically all for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe it'll be down below and yeah that's basically all for today's video and i'll see you in my next one thank you for watching bye guys